demand does remain fragile. Um, air travel is operating about 50% of uh, pre-pandemic levels and road travel is about 10% 10, uh, 10 lower than it was pre-pandemic. So uh, demand is something like 6 million barrels a day lower than it was uh, pre-pandemic. And it's going to take a while for that to come back. Although, you know, there are obviously very optimistic signs given the vaccine rollout that we will start to see a pickup. But we're expecting that really to come uh, from the middle of the year, so probably the third quarter onwards. So 2Q still remains pretty fragile. So therefore, is it possible that they'll still sit on their hands in April? I think it's possible, but I, I do think the direction from OPEC is clearly going to be raising uh, production. Really, the question is, is how much. Remember, at the start of the year, OPEC uh, had planned a 2 million barrel a day increase, and, and that was effectively postponed um, for the first quarter, just given where we were with demand. I think we will see you know, more production from OPEC come back onto the market. I think we will see the end of the, the voluntary cuts from Saudi. Um, and we would expect somewhere between, you know, one to one and a half million barrels ultimately to be coming back on the market before the end of the second quarter, but, but probably in a phased way. I need to remind to rejoining in uh, this conversation. Uh, there's a difference between what uh, OPEC would do versus what it should do. And so do you think that stepping into the markets and rebalancing the markets would be an important uh, issue right now, given where prices are headed? Because consumer countries like India have been crying foul. Yeah, I mean, prices have obviously recovered very strongly, um, you know, over the last two, three months. Uh, and that's been driven by really the success of the, the OPEC policy. We've seen very strong levels of compliance, um, you know, which has enabled, uh, you know, inventories to draw down a couple of hundred million barrels from where they were at the peak uh, last summer. And that's really what's driven uh, prices. Uh, if you look at so what Saudi needs to balance its budgets, it's still around eighty dollars a barrel, and so the Saudis remain, you know, probably the most conservative in terms of you know seeing more production coming back into the market, and probably would like to see uh, prices move a bit higher. Uh, the Russians, on the other hand, you know, have a break even closer to fifty. You know, I think are more worried about the potential for shale coming back on if we let prices uh, run away. So there's definitely different views uh, in OPEC, and I think those tensions, uh, you know, will probably continue to increase if we see prices rise further.